Coach's Pete Mangione with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good morning. Of course, we will be talking a lot about Hurricane Isaias, and you can see this is a Category 1 storm getting close to Florida, and the interaction with Florida will play a huge factor in what happens with the ultimate path. So let's walk you through the official forecast from the National Hurricane Center, which is updated at 5 a.m. and then again at 11 a.m. this morning. Notice how it skirts the eastern coast of Florida. Now, should this track further to the west and make more of a landfall, that could actually weaken the storm a bit, and there's a second potential landfall to talk about. This one could occur in somewhere like North Carolina. If this gets further onto land, further to the west, that could also weaken the storm. Now, that would probably also increase the chance of a strike here for our area, but it may be in a weaker form. So we're talking about maybe a tropical storm, maybe not even that. We'd certainly have rain, wind, and some big waves, but the impact would be more manageable. The worst case scenario is that it kind of skirts the east coast and then strikes us in a stronger form. Right now, the official forecast has it moving in our general vicinity as a tropical storm, but way too early to lock into one particular scenario. We've been tracking these for a long, long time, and often what you see is the track tends to swing back and forth a little bit, especially when it has a few potential landfalls to go. So stay tuned, and we'll keep you updated on that forecast. Notice temperature right now is 71 in Providence, 66 in New Bedford, 72 in Newport, 67 in Westerly. Our winds are calm, and overall I'm expecting a fairly calm day, eventually those winds shifting around from the south. Dew points are running in the mid to upper 60s, and while that's not oppressive, it's noticeable here in southern New England, so I don't expect the humidity to overall be so bad if you're out there enjoying the outdoors today. Newport Harbor showing some sunshine, and here at Narragansett Town Beach, we're seeing people already gathering. I'm sure this will be a very popular spot today, and that's because we have high pressure in control that will protect us from precipitation today, but tomorrow a warm front approaches, and that will give us the chance of some showers and storms, so let's walk you through that part of the forecast. This is overnight through tomorrow morning with clear skies, and and then late tomorrow morning into the afternoon, a warm front approaches, and that will bring in some showers and thunderstorms, especially for points to our west. I wouldn't say tomorrow is a rainy day, but there will be that storm and shower threat late in the day. As for today, 84 by noontime, 88, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm thinking today is a really nice beach day. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s with mostly sunny skies. Probably get some of these clouds developing during the afternoon, but they should be fair weather clouds. And at the beach, on average, will be in the low 80s with mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. Now, on the water, winds will start fairly calm and then eventually shift from the south at 5 knots. Waves 2 feet in Narragansett Bay, low tide on the way just after lunchtime today. Our muggy meter, one of my favorite segments, does show humidity acceptable today. Now, notice what happens to tomorrow. This is Sunday morning, Sunday night. Here comes that warm front. That's going to push up the humidity, and then that humidity could stay very high, especially if Hurricane Isaias gets close, because usually when we get those storms in our vicinity, it brings along with it a lot of tropical moisture, downpours, gusty winds. So that's why you're seeing this in that part of the forecast with temperatures near 80. And actually, don't want to forget about the temperature on Monday which could feature a few showers, but it could be pretty hot on Monday. High temperature near 92. You can always get an updated forecast on our website. And, of course, when we're tracking hurricanes and things like that, the WPRI 12 weather app is a great resource to have. Kate. All right, thanks, Pete. This